Leia 2, Lutu. All righty. So played two years in UCLA, played two years prior to that in Washington. Interesting story about him going to UCLA. I'll get to that in a minute here. It's six foot five, 265 pounds, 23 years old. So he's got prototypical size there. At the end of 2020, he hurt his neck in what was believed to be a career ending injury. He's not supposed to play again. Kept working out anyway, kept trying to get better. Transferred to UCLA and got cleared to play. 22, 13 games, 26 tackles, 12 and a half tackles for loss, 10 and a half sacks, one pass deflected, one uh, fumble recovery, one, uh, th- sorry, three forced fumbles. This past year, whoo, he went off. Went off. 12 games, 49 tackles, 21 and a half tackles for loss, guys. 21 and a half tackles for loss. Let me just reiterate that in case you didn't hear that correctly. Um, 13 sacks, two interceptions, two passes deflected, two forced fumbles, and a 96.3 PFF score. My God. How is this man not being listed as the top? And I think it's the medical. It's got to be the neck concern. It's got to be. It's got to be. Playing- Two years since then. I got to think that he's good to go. Or you know what? Maybe he is one hit away from his career being over. I don't know. I don't have his medical in front of me. I have no way of knowing that. But I have to imagine he's clear to play and play two years with no issues. That he's all good to go. But worst case scenario, I'll take the guy who's going to have a great career. Huh? Damn it, Drew. I'm not a doctor. (laughs) I'm a podcaster. Doctor. 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 Someone need a doctor. But I mean... (laughs) <laughs> this is a guy that, even if he has a short career, it's going to be a great career. I think he's going to be really good in this league. I really do. Um, as far as the pros and cons, great range of pass rush moves. This is a guy that's got the swim. He's got the rip. He's got the spin. He's got all that starting off the bat there. He's got a plan before the play even begins. That's something you hear about kind of cliche, but not everyone does it. He's literally always in his head. You can tell the way he looks around. He's got that thought process going where he's going, okay, and he's talked about it where he goes, okay, well, in this play here, I went off, I went to my left, my plan was if he went to this direction, I'd do this, if he did this. And he t- we tell his plan that he had, like, this is all plotted out the way it's supposed to be. Um, quick to get started at the snap as well, explosive, great use of hands, and again, good size. His cons, he does have weak legs. If somebody's on him and he's trying to push back a little bit there, he needs a little more sled time. It's, that's the one thing I'll say is, is, is a little off on him there. Um, he's also a little too quick to move at times as well. And Maybe this is part of the downfall of having a plan. He wants to go right into that plan. And sometimes the play progresses in a way that doesn't help with that plan. Um, he's also rarely asked to do man coverage. So again, I'm not putting it as a knock on him. He just didn't do it in college. So we don't know how well he is at it because he's going to be a 3-4 kind of guy. He's going to be a guy that's going to be asked to do a man potentially at some point, that means. And we have no clue how good he is at it because we just didn't see it on a regular basis. But he wasn't bad at zone. Like I said, two two interceptions, even a couple passes deflected this past year to UCLA there. I mean, that's that's a good year. This is a strong player, guys. This is a guy that – this is a yeah. game changer on your defense potentially if he, if he can be healthy. And he'll go probably late round one. I don't think he's going to go with the, the, the top guys. I think I think you'll see Dallas Turner, uh, Gerard Verse, and even potentially Chop Robinson all go before him. They'll probably be the fourth edge off the board, I think. chop de chop Number one, numero uno, the big cheese. So, Head again. Thanks for listening to Two Giant Goofballs, a New York Giants podcast. We appreciate your support. Thanks so much.